President-elect Joe Biden and Vice President-elect Kamala Harris are set to be sworn in just before noon today. Between the COVID-19 crisis and security threats, the day will go forward with extra security in place. The top priority, keeping people healthy and safe while honoring and resembling American inaugural traditions. WF minus this Candace Red takes a closer look at the tight security and COVID-19 precautions in place today. Good morning, Candace. Megan Tracy, good morning to you both. The 59th presidential inauguration is coming just two weeks after an angry mob stormed the U.S. Capitol. We know that that includes the platform on the west front of the Capitol where Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will be sworn in today as president and vice president of the United States. During these unprecedented and divisive times, security is tight with at least 25,000 National Guard troops in Washington. Tall fences are surrounding the Capitol, several metro stations are closed, and the U.S. Secret Service and other law enforcement agencies are enforcing restrictions for drivers in the area. CBS News spoke recently and exclusively with senators in charge of the inauguration. That includes Republican Roy Blunt and Democrat Amy Klobuchar. Take a listen. Did you ever consider for security reasons about moving this inside? I don't think we seriously did. This is not only a moment of importance, but the fact that we do it and where we do it matters and really important to maintain that sense of uh, the continuity of both our Constitution and our democracy. This is what President Joe Biden will see when he addresses the nation. Well, there'll be some people out there, so yes, yeah. that's what he sees. Right now, you're looking at the Field of Flags public art display on the National Mall in D.C. The Presidential Inaugural Committee says the purpose of the display is to celebrate the American people who cannot attend the inauguration due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, remember, people have already been urged to stay home due to the health crisis and the possibility of violence. But once again, when it comes to those who will be attending, again, we know that that will be Congress and um, some of their constituents, that COVID-19 safety measures will be in place. That includes the use of face coverings, social distancing, and more. But for more information on this story and everything else you need to know about the 59th presidential inauguration, all you have to do is visit our website, wfmynews2.com.